Hi, this is Paul from Sewell Direct. Today I'm going to be showing you how we terminate our ghost speaker wire with our new improved adhesive for the two conductor. So before installing, we need three things. Uh, scissors, a razor blade of some sort, and a small flathead screwdriver. And note this should usually be done before installing on a wall, floor, or ceiling when possible. So first we need to peel back the backing from the adhesive about an inch. And this is easier if you have nails, but we'll make do. There we go. So you usually peel it back about an inch, inch and a half. And you can take your scissors or uh, a ruler if you'd like and put this in place and just rip that off. Now we have about an inch, inch and a half exposed. Next we take our razor blade and we're going to cut along the edges of the conductors. And it doesn't have to be right along the edge. Uh, it will be fine either way. See, I'm a little out there, that's fine. And do all four. Then we're going to remove these little white areas. Just peel those right off. And we are left with two copper conductors that we just need to remove the adhesive from. So this is the tricky part because our adhesive is no longer attached directly to the copper on this side. So what we do is we take our finger and place it right here on top of the conductor. Once you have your finger on top of the conductor, you rotate it back and it exposes the underside of the copper. And then you can just grab that adhesive and just peel it back. Then just snip off the adhesive and you're left with a copper plate now do the other side, put your finger on top, peel it back, peel back the adhesive, and just snip it off. And you're left with two clean copper plates. Now we just need to fold these over so that they'll fit nicely into our terminal blocks. So usually fold these over two to four times depending on how much of the conductor you have exposed. We'll do it twice. And you don't need to worry about this white backing, it just gets folded under. And there we go, we're left with two nice clean copper conductors. And we just insert those into our terminal block. They're into the two slits, like so. Once those are in, just take our screwdriver, screw it down. And we're good to go. Now all that's left to do is clean off the surface where you're going to install the ghost wire really well with uh, soap and water is preferred. Uh, and then you can ins remove the adhesive backing, uh, install the ghost wire, and you can screw in the terminal block to keep it in place. Thanks for watching.